Brad, well, first of all, a, a very warm welcome to the New Saints. We're, we're in Scotland at the moment yeah. and we're playing a game tomorrow. But let's go back in time as far as you're concerned. And as a youngster, born in Birmingham, you got picked up by West Bromwich Albion. Yeah, well, it started off originally, I was just playing school football and then the PE to coach approached me and my mum and my dad and said, you've got a good shot at this, go into a local team. So we joined the local Sheldon Rules Sunday League team and then played a season there and I got picked up by quite a few clubs locally in the area. But I chose West Brom because at the time, the training facilities and where they were going was the best at the time. So joined there from the age of six and then uh, ended up leaving there and going to Aston Villa since I was about 14. And then just my contract just ended at Villa last, end of last season. Well, as a six-year-old, did you know that there was someone watching you on that particular occasion? I didn't, to be fair. It was just playing football with my friends at the local park because all of us joined the same team. So it was just expressing ourselves and just having fun, just playing football as kids. And as you said, you moved to Aston Villa. And that must have been particularly exciting for you as a youngster because you grew up as a Villa fan. Yeah, well, at the time, because I had Villa interested me at the time, but the, the way they were training the kids and everything, it was all just like playing football games and it weren't actual proper coaching. So at the time, West Brom was the better option for me. But as soon as I went to Aston Villa, I was over the moon because it's, it's my team. It's the team I support since I was a kid. It's the team that I go to all the games with my dad and my family so yeah I was very happy to sign there and of course it's a, a great privilege and honour to be a professional footballer anyway or to play for a professional team yeah. at whatever age you are but how special is it to actually pull on the shirt of the team that you support I mean it was the best feeling in the world to be honest um, made me and my family proud obviously grow up watching them going to all their games it was just a dream come true and yeah. So when you were with Aston Villa now, you progressed nicely through the system. You were part of the FA Youth Cup winning team just a couple or so years ago. Yeah, <coughs> that was probably one of the highlight experiences of my life so far. Like every young lad, well, the FA Youth Cup's the biggest cup that you can win for a young lad. And all me and the, the boys that I grew up with there in our age group all dreamed of it at the time. And then to actually achieve it was a proud moment for me. And you scored a number of goals during that campaign as well, including one in the final against Liverpool. Yeah. Well, it was, our team was strong. Like We was a battering team, so we had a good togetherness. So we knew how to get through the tough times and then we knew how each other played to our strength. So, yeah, it was a great feeling, obviously, scoring the uh, goal in the final with the jump in that I did. And you are a striker. Yeah. And did you start out as an out-and-out forward when you were a youngster? Well, when I was playing uh, football in the local team, I was actually a midfielder. Well, I was a striker, but I was a midfielder because it was me getting on the ball more. And I, obviously, it's not professional footballer back then. It was Sunday league, so everyone was not the best. So it was just me getting on the ball and just driving, going through everyone. And then when I signed for West Brom, I was originally a left winger. And then one time we didn't have a striker, so they put me up front for one game and I scored six goals. And then I got moved to striker, but I can play striker left and as a 10. You also played for the first team as well, Aston Villa, at Villa Park, a yeah. place where you'd been as a youngster many times supporting the team. And there you were coming onto the pitch, about 60 minutes gone. Yeah, it was, it was the best feeling ever, really. It would have been better, though, if it weren't COVID and there was obviously loads of fans in the stadium, but it was still something that I can take for the rest of my life. And, and obviously you move on and your time at Villa came to an end. We did have a couple of loan periods while you were there, Carl United, Air United. Yeah. So plenty of experiences for a young footballer as part of your development. Yeah, well, I see the experiences as growing up, like moving away from, obviously moving away from home, away out of my comfort zone, through straight in the beef end, really. I didn't know how to cook. I didn't know how to work the cook or anything. I had to face from my mum all the time, saying, how do I do this, how do I do that? But now that I've got the experience, the first one was tough. That's why I had to cut it short and go back in January. And the second one, it, it brought me together. I knew how to do my own washing and knew how to do everything. So it was, I think it was a good person 
Lee, for me, to become a man and not a child. Yeah, as you said there, Brad, it's not just part of your football development, yeah. but also for you as a person. Yeah, it develops you, it sets you up for life. It, you basically get through straight in the deep end and you know what the real world's like. Going out your comfort zone, not living off your mum, cleaning the house yourself, doing everything yourself. So it's part of growing up, really, and I'm happy that I've done that at a young age and I'm still young now, still learning and I'm still improved with everything. And the transfer window has just closed. You signed for the New Saints quite late in the day. Yeah. When did you personally become aware that TNS was showing some sort of interest in you? It was about a week before the transfer window ended. I heard there was interest and uh, I'm not going to lie, I didn't know much about Welsh football, but when, he, when they settled the Zoom meeting and the club was going through the ambitions and what they like and the facilities, the training and everything, it just inspired me. And then ever since, I'm happy to be here. And yeah, I just think it was the right move for me. And you've been around the club just a, a few days now and obviously early days, but you settled in quite nicely. Yeah, I've settled in nicely. The lads are spot on, all this coaching stuff, everything's good. I like the feel around this place. And hopefully I can bring what I can know I can bring to the table on the football pitch. Well, that was what I wanted to ask you as well. What can the fans expect to see from you? I expect to see uh, direct goals, assists, aggressive with my press. Just everything, really, everything that I can bring in my show. It sounds great. Away from the game, though, what do you like to do to turn off from the pressures of football? Normally, I'll just be chilling at home, playing my PlayStation. But I've got two dogs, too, so I take them on a walk. Or we'll just go to a coffee shop with the missus. Literally, that yeah, I live a boring life on the outside here. But it's the best way. And there's always one question I inevitably ask new signings. Because as you know, you've been around football. You've yeah. been at a few clubs, either signed or on loan. And there's always some sort of an initiation ceremony that takes place here at the New Saints. Yeah. You will sing the song at some point. And yeah. what are we likely to hear from you, Brad? I sing the same song every time. Uh, what's it called now? Little Baby Close Friends. To be fair, I thought I was going to get away with it. The assistant said in there, I don't have to sing, but you're telling me we'll probably have to do it another day. Yeah. I don't mind it, though. I've had to do it three times, but... Don't be expecting anything good, I'm terrible. Well, we'll certainly look forward to that. And Brad, thank you for your time this evening. Really thank appreciate you. it. And a very warm welcome to the New Saints. And we hope you have a successful time with us. All right, thank you.